Okay, here we are in a fairly circular low Earth orbit. And um, as you can see, we've got target is the moon, and we're not in plane with it, so we're, we're definitely off plane. Let's bring up transx. And what we're going to do is an off plane transfer. That means just a single prograde burn from the Earth, and uh, coast around the moon, and back to the Earth. From here, set up, target is the moon, none. Let's go to minus a couple times. Here we go. We've got the moon. Um, the moon is right here going, and it takes about 28 days for it to do a complete orbit. Uh, the white line is the axis of our orbit, and uh, we've got a very tight little orbit around the Earth right in here. But the axis of intercept between, or the axis between our orbit and the moon's is this white line. So basically, we want to arrive at the moon when the moon gets here. It takes about three days, which means uh, that's about a week for each 90 degrees that it goes around. So three days, three and a half days. It means we want to advance until the moon gets to a rate right about where that is. And I'm going to go ahead and advance now. And slowing it down. That should be good enough. Let's just go... That looks good. All right. Now what we want to do is turn on a maneuver and set up some prograde. Typical is to get about 3,150 is really kind of typical, but you know it, it varies depending on your orbital height. But it's a good starting time, our starting amount to go with 3,150, which is what I've got there. And now let's advance the date around until it starts to intercept over here. If you look here, you can go and advance until these lines are coming close together. I'm also going to click forward on the right side, and we can see where it is, uh, the green line passing the moon at the center. And you can see how it's crossing over there. Not too bad. Um, let's go to, on this side, we're going to click Escape and Forward. And the green line is what would happen. And we're pretty off into oblivious space here that it's not what we want. Click View for Sling Direct, Variables. And now we're going to swing the outward all the way in until it gets a pretty tight little ellipse. That yellow dashed line is what would be happening if we sling according to what this plan is. So we look at it, it's pretty tight in here. Uh, it's showing that we're going to pass the moon uh, at 1.47 moon radius. It needs to be greater than 1. If it's less than 1, you hit the moon. So, so let's swing this in a little bit tighter. That looks good. Maybe, maybe out a bit. Yeah, let's just go with that. Now we're going to click back. And this yellow dashed line uh, points at where we want the end of this green to be. And it's not working for us, but I'm going to slide forward and back with the date and see what we've got. As you can see, what's happening is it's, it's passing above the moon, at least as our reference point is looking at it. And so let's go ahead and advance the date, maybe one orbit, and see what we've got. And we're sliding in. And here comes our green line. It's getting closer, but it's not quite there. It's still passing above. Let's go uh, back up to super. We'll go around one more orbit. That looks pretty good. We're going to bring it back. See how close they are now. That's what we wanted. If we want another orbit later, then the end of this green line would be passing across down underneath. We'd be missing it. So you basically go forward and back a few orbits one way or the other to, f to get that green line there. Now, to get it fine-tuned right onto it, after you get hit uh, with date hyper uh, as best you can, uh, this is pretty close with it. But uh, if you find that you're off by you know a little more, like where the end of the uh, pointer is, not a worry. What you do is you come over to Variables, and uh, let's click uh, Plane Change. And you can see what's happening here. Medium's a good adjustment. We can adjust some Plane Change. And the idea is to get this number here, the PE ratio, 
to one, to become one. Let's try... That looks pretty good. Let's try some outward and... That looks good. We'll go back to some plane change. And we're at one and a pretty small miss there. This says here we're going to actually come back and be right intersecting into the Earth. Now I found that you, that's okay if you're a little bit on the low side. Transix tends to err and put you a little bit higher usually. So, at least as far as a free return goes. What we do now is burn it. We got view, there's our target, 13,000 seconds from now. I'm going to advance the time down till it's almost there. And that looks good. We got about a hundred seconds left. Now we want to rotate. Well, that's not the way. There we go. Rotation. I'm rotating nose to the left to bring this X to the center. And a little bit far. As you can see, the Earth's in the background there. All right, the green X is centered. We bring the time down. And when it's almost zero, we'll start the burn. We've got about five seconds left. And the burn's happening. We'll warp ahead. And we got to be careful we don't burn too much. And we can clean it up with a little translation. And our val value is very low there. So we're going to turn this off now. Maneuver is off. And we can see we're at uh, 926 point, almost 9. I'm just going to advance the time. And here we are coming around the moon. And we're getting close uh, to the actual uh, closest point on the moon here, the periapsis. I'm going to slow it to real time. Now, we're pretty close on here with our uh, the green lines laid across. But let's find out uh, what we've got here. It says that we're, according to um, Transex, that we're going to be coming back a little bit low, intersecting kind of below the atmosphere. But I don't trust it. I'm going to go ahead, bring up IMFD just for the map. Uh, reference the Earth. And it says that we're going to be 162 um, kilometers above the uh, surface. Now, if that's fine with you, you're basically done. Um, I'm facing prograde right now. Rotation. And from translation, you can then just bump it forward or backwards. But basically, you're either going to go prograde or retrograde to bring this to whatever value you like. In this case, I'm going to shoot for something around 70 kilometers, 69 kilometers. And basically, I'm done. Um, I basically could coast now all the way back to the Earth and uh, probably won't even need any uh, mid-course corrections.